Welcome back to our fourth C Sharp tutorial. Now, for those of you who, well, I'm hoping all of you were here for the last one, but this is what we did last time. Now, I want to go through a little bit of it before we move on. This part here, in particular, is probably the most important thing and reason why we can actually understand this next part that we're going to learn. Now, what we've done here and any place that we've added a plus is concatenation where we've got a string and we've added something on we've concatenated it to the original string now concatenation's fine for some things and all that but it's not good for everything so what I'm going to do is I'm going to Comment out this console right line now. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. And we're going to move on to the next line. So what I'm going to introduce you to now is called a placeholder. So firstly, we need to write a console dot right line, and um, your name is. And instead of just leaving it here and adding on something, what we're going to do is we're going to do curly brackets. Um, they're the, the ones next to P. When you hold down shift for them, I, it's probably the best way I can explain it. Now, and from here, we want to put a comma and a string in this case. In other cases, it could be a variable, but at this point we're dealing with strings. Now, what we can do is we can run this through. I know the program's going to work, so I'm going to start without oh, debugging, but for those of you that are a bit concerned that your program's not going to, we can do it again. Um, so Chris, uh, what is your last name? Um, it's going to go with P. Now see, it told us that our name is Chris, so that's, that's, the concatenation has worked here. It's picked up our placeholder, and in our placeholder's position, it has taken the first name. Now, I'm not going to explain everything about this in this video because in the next video I'm going to go through a bit more, uh, in a bit more detail, some of this stuff that we've done and what some stuff means. Now, but firstly, I want you to grab two more and I want you to put in another placeholder, one and one. And over here we want um, first name, last name, um, and last name, first name. And now we want to repeat this process one last time. And we'll, what we'll do now is we'll just change up the placeholder position on the first one and we'll put them both the same on the second one. Now you can run this through and uh, and now the last uh, your name is this, which is the first aspect of the concatenation we've done, oh, concatenation, the placeholder we've used here. And the second line, we've done placeholders 0 and 1, and it's got Chris Pratt. Um, and then we, what we did was we reversed it around, so the last name was first, which put the last name first down here, and then the first name second. And over here, what we did was we left it with the first name first, and then the last name, but we called the second placeholder, well, placeholder 1 and placeholder 0 in 
the different order. And the last time we've had both placeholders the same, which has returned us with both the same oh, both of the same name returning. Now I'm gonna let you go. The next video is more of an optional one for those that want to actually understand more detail about this stuff. But for those of you that just want to learn how to actually program and don't worry about this kind of thing because you've already learnt it in another language or you just have no interest in it, you can continue on to the video after um, the next one. So I think video six, I think. Anyway, thanks for watching and remember to like and subscribe.